Well, hello, all you Lightroom lovers out there. It's a love day because I love Lightroom tips, and I've got some good ones for you today. Hey, everybody, it's Scott Kelby from KelbyOne.com, a place where people go to get really, really good at Lightroom. All right, so today's tip uh, is it's a series of shortcuts that use numbers, so let's get right to it. We have seven modules, library, develop, map, book, so on. To get around those, you don't have to go up there and click. You can use a very handy shortcut. On Mac, it's Option, Command, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So Option, Command, 2 would jump you to develop. Option, Command, 3 jumps you to the Mac. Option, Command, 4 to the book module, and so on. So that, and of course, 1 gets you right back where you started. So that is on Mac for Windows. It would be Alt, Control, 1, 2, three, four, and so on. So that's an easy way to get around. Also, there's another little shortcut that's kind of interesting. If if you jump to a particular module and you want to go to the module you were most recently at, you can use the same keyboard shortcut. So Option Command on Mac, Alt Control on Windows, but you're going to hit the up arrow key on your keyboard and it takes you to the previous one. So if you jump back and forth between library and developer stuff or slideshow and library, you can just jump back and forth using Option Command, up arrow, and so on. Here's an interesting one a lot of folks might not realize. Click on this one right here. We're calling it Cobra One. You want to change the name? Just go to F2. Play, use the F key on your keyboard. It brings up the rename photo and you can just type in a custom name. I have to tell you that Joe and Neil Hamilton Wedding is a very odd name for a classic Cobra, but sure. Okay, so that's renaming. So now we're talking about F keys. We've got five, six, seven, and eight, like F5, six, seven, and eight. So let's just uh, go to F, don't hit five randomly, hit F5, which is above that. That opens and closes the top panel. The F6 closes and opens the bottom panel. F7, the side panels on the left. F8, the side panels on the right. So those are your F keys, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, when you're working on an image, if you were to press the numbers one, two, three, four, or five, it will assign a star rating to your image, like a number four, or a number two, or a number one, whatever you want that star rating to be. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, hold the shift key. Then when you hold the shift key and click on the next one and like make it, make that, uh, let's see, three, it will automatically jump to the next photo, kind of like speed rating. So you just bang, bang, bang. That's holding the shift key. By the way, this is not a number trick, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So if you don't want to hold the shift key to have it automatically jump up, you can turn it on all the time. If you go under the photo menu and turn on auto advance, now it will automatically do that. Anytime you put a rating number, it jumps to the next one. So if you put another rating number, boom, it just jumps. <laughs> I actually put a color label, which was my next tip. Six, seven, eight, and nine are color labels. So if you want to apply a red, you would hit six. If you want to apply a green, it's seven. Notice it automatically advanced to the next one. Auto advance is awesome. And then there's number eight is a deeper shade of grain. So anyway, those are there. If you were to click on a an image that has like a star rating and presses zero, it removes all the stars for you. So there you have it, guys. There are some, some tips. Hey, just want to mention, if you're into Lightroom, and I know that you're into Lightroom because you just watched a Lightroom tip, go over to KelbyOne.com. We have almost 50 classes 50 full-length classes just on Lightroom, on every Lightroom topic you could possibly imagine, including one that has become very popular. It is my simplified Lightroom image management system, also known short, you might have heard on the internet, the SLIM system, and it is how to finally get really organized and understand it in a really simple way. So if you're into that, go take the 10-day free trial over at kelbyone.com, and you can start learning why immediately. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope you found that helpful, and we'll catch you next time.